Okay. At least one of us got to go. One more time. Tread lightly, Outlander. I'm good at remembering faces. Every time I glance up at the Citadel, I remember that Edom is gone. Down, down, down. Uh, um, how are the falls and wilds if you do them in the middle of the game? I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure, as year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And, voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Yep. Hold for identity scan. Go ahead. Scan me. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you, me? you don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. I do. Get me through this door. Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. Yeah. I started on hard and it was too easy. Uh, now I'm very hard. See, by now I would know better. I guess you can't have everything. That will draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. <laughs> we? Last I checked, I was the one whisking my life down here. Yes, fine. Now, will you please get moving? <laughs> There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. Fine, fine. As long as it doesn't crash too much. Okay, explore Project Zero Dawn facility. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. We found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. What do we have here? Another incident. Text mail, lounge staff. To admin. This morning's unfortunate incident with Dr. Popovich is another example of reception's need for additional support. We appreciate that Zero Dawn is an immensely complicated project, but as the staff who serve on the front line, we're tired of being neglected. As we have already requested, we need human translators fluent in Polish, for example, security staff who can subdue enraged embryologists, for example, and dermal sedatives to calm persons who are screaming in Polish while hurling chairs and vases at reception staff, for example. Yes, most of the candidates are reasonably calm and well behaved, but we need help handling the exceptions to that rule. Please respond. We need support too. From reception staff to admin. Reception staff continues to require additional support managing Z dead ca candidates that the candidates when they are, arrive at the facility. Many are frightened or confused. Some are highly agitated. These are not the sort of persons who are accustomed to having information withheld from them. At minimum, we need human translators. The, the lang bots are not sufficient. And while sedatives for the extreme cases, mild sedatives for the extreme cases, 
any and all support would be welcome. Perhaps you could start by responding to one of these emails. Why can't she lock the door behind her? Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. In a smaller room. I have so much Ridgewood. Do I stock or else from Lounge Staff? For the fifth time, please restock the lounge's selection of herbal teas. If I have to listen to one more egghead throw a tantrum because we're out of the organic cucumber mint or blackberry sage veritals, I'm still going to lose it. Please respond, and this time no tempest in a teapot or steep demand jokes, okay? Sheesh. People in bad puns. Soundproofing from Lounge Staff. Would it be possible to improve the soundproofing between VR1 and the lounge area? Most of the candidates stay quiet during the presentation, but the ones who scream or sob can be plainly heard by candidates waiting their turn in the lounge. Just a thought. Please proceed into viewing room 1 for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit. Oh. What was this place? A holographic theater. ZDN1 data intact. Initiating playback. Okay. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top-secret super-weapons program. It isn't. A technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague, if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super-weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. And here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? To give us time. One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. That makes sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Cast 
trolls. They got in through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Let's go with stealth for now. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Tomb? Interview with Brad and Dak? Hmm. You previously worked for Faro Automated Systems. On the chariot line self-replication routines? I came here thinking this was a, a rendition. When your people took me, I, I thought, about time. Yeah. Strike from above. Better. Climb up. Come on. Whose body is that? What? Nobody. Who said anything about a body? Play an audio. There is some mistake. I don't understand why I was brought here. Why would you show me these things? I know that there's already a lot to take in. In the waiting area, I was seated with a Nobel laureate in biophysics and a monk, I think. He spoke neither English nor Mandarin. It is very strange. And General Harris? What was he talking about? Well, the robot swarm, the feral plague? I understand it is terrible, stop us now. but it really the cannot be stopped. What did they Why contain? tell us this? There are people in Shanghai, my friends, my family. They have joined Operation Enduring Victory already. It is for nothing? We will all die? We're going to be able to answer some of these questions. I just want to know why I am here. It doesn't make sense to me. You were brought here because of your skill set. No, that can't be right. I am an art historian. I know Dutch masters, Japanese calligraphy, uh, Gerhard Richter. What does that matter now? Oh, it matters. Warfare specialist. I'm sure you now understand the urgency of why we brought you here, Ms. Okilo. Captain Okilo, are you trying to thank me for not resisting? I believe we couldn't negotiate a diplomatic solution. When it came to my country's lithium, it was always a swarm that would be sent to negotiate. Metallurgic International, US Robot Command. The markings changed, but the robots were the same. You have had considerable experience in human-robot conflict. Yes, and I've got the prosthetic limbs to show it. Yet I continue to face this horror, even though the challenge was great. Cyber warfare. I thought Zero Dawn would be a, a Manhattan project to generate the deactivation codes. With the resources I had, I estimated code breaking to be a hopeless endeavor. I was almost looking forward to being proved wrong. Unfortunately, your estimation was correct. As your General Harris said. So then, you did not bring me here to commiserate. What is left? Interview Travis State, data security consultant. Want to discuss? Oof. So, Mama, she was right. Pardon? My mother, she took her Bible real serious. Not just Texas bubble serious, Pentecostal serious. <laughs> Favorite chapter? Revelations. Favorite among Now, I didn't always yeah. understand her on account of all that speaking in tongues and such, but when she did use her words, there was always end times this and the lake of fire that on kind of sinful lifestyles. 
Speaking of which, mind if I smoke a tobacco cigarette? Sorry, darling. My taste run classic. Compliments your team tracked me down. Been a price on my head 18 <laughs> months now. Sterling Malky was me, don't mind admitting. Been plenty of snakesters chasing the bounty, too. But I kept the zigging to their zag. How'd you finger me? I believe Dr. Sobek listed you as an alpha candidate. Priority snatch and grab. Always suspected she had a little thing for me. Hmm. Hey, I don't suppose you got real coffee in this place. You know, blood coffee? Conflict cappuccinos? Mr. Tate, I'm clearing you to proceed. <laughs> Just go. Um, Page, PhD, molecular and cellular biology. It is accurate, yes. So these mechanical monstrosities, they don't just kill people, they feed off them? Not just people, all organic matter. Every living thing dissolves into nutrients. Millennia of evolution liquefied. The miracle of life reduced to bloody biofuel. In a word, yes. Yes. Who did this? Pharaoh? That asshole. Is he here? No, Doctor. Please, tell him Tom Pike wants a word. Now, get off! Get off! Uh, doctor, please! You get Ted Pharaoh in here! Ron Felder, PhD, Aerospace Engineering. Look, uh, let's cut the mystery. You're building a colony ship. It's obvious. <laughs> and it's not going to fly. I mean, literally. Remember the Odyssey? That multinational heap of space junk that's been in graveyard orbit since 57? That went nowhere real slow. And you have to get somewhere real fast. Uh, do you have any idea the immensity of the challenge to prep a new colony ship in time? To be clear, I'm not a worker on the project. Do you even understand how few people it could save? The whole generation ship concept is, is not gonna happen. It's the first thing you'd abandon in favor of embryonics. Uh, for that kind of storage we're talking, a lot of bulk, a lot of power, a lot of resources. So even if you do it, even if you build it and point it at Sirius X, there's no room for people on that thing, all right? If you could try to remain calm. You people are crazy if you think you're getting off this rock. No one's getting off. Medical. <laughs> I haven't seen those in there. Yeah, that. Being with Suzanne Alpert, environmental scientist. Doctor? I'm sorry, I wasn't, uh... Just stating your name. What were you thinking about, Doctor? Nothing the General said, not really. I was on the Syzygy East response team in 2051, just after the second earthquake compromised the reactor. I still dream about it, after all these years. The red zone spreading on the imaging slowly, so slowly, like a hand opening its fingers. Your involvement in that event is why you were asked for by name. Really? That's interesting. Because nothing worked. Nothing could grow there again. It was a catastrophic failure. But the red zone is a blip compared to global scale biomass reduction. The biosphere and hydrosphere will collapse, render the Earth uninhabitable long before the robots finish us. Enduring victory can't buy time against that. So, you'd better show me what Zero Dawn really is. Council of Guidelines. Huh. Candidates must be allowed to ask questions and be given the necessary time to fully absorb the information they have received. It is important to be aware that candidates have just been exposed to triggers for severe mental and emotional trauma. Do not assume silence or outward calmness indicates acceptance. It is essential to stress that all other options for combating the feral plague and preserving the continuation of human life have been considered and found unworkable. Communicate this fact calmly but clearly and firmly. Familiarize yourself with data on the catastrophic environmental impact of nuclear engagements versus the swarm, addendum B1, and on feasibility of maintaining life in orbital, lunar, or undersea structures, addendum C1, C2, and C3. 
so that you can counter candidates' objection in depth. If a candidate asks for the time alone to review supplementary information, allow this without hesitation. Be sure to inform security personnel so that the candidate can be monitored for attempts at self-harm. Candidates should only be clear to proceed to presentation 2 if you believe the mental state is sufficiently stable. Note that real-time support will be available via your focus. Security and medical crisis teams are decorrupted. Okay, let's hear part two of the bad news. ZDO2 data intact. Initiating playback. Elizabeth Sobeck. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Apollo. Now these aren't AIs, but make no Cyber. mistake. Each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground yeah. facilities to Justice. hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn Hades. how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about. And build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stocks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. In 16 months? We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia. We can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. A one shot to save the planet in 16 months. That's insane. The whole earth destroyed, but then remade? Yes, by a machine. A machine of creation. Elizabeth did this for life for us but 
Why Hades, then? If it was part of Gaia, how'd it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh robot? And why does it want to kill me? And Apollo, the Archive of Knowledge, what happened to that? All good questions. I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead. Let's take a look. Make your selection. Text log. You are now in possession of information regarding the true nature and purpose of Project Zero Dawn, classified far above top secret. As such, we regret that you cannot be allowed to leave this facility. There are three options available to you at this point. Please consider each carefully. Trained counselors are standing by to assist you in making your choice. 1. Participation. You will be assigned to a sub-project team based on your area of expertise. You should be aware that the way forward will be difficult and the project's outcome is uncertain. You will be expected to work a minimum of 80 hours per week, and your communications with family members will be strictly limited and monitored in real time. Upon successful completion of the project, you and your immediate family, or two persons of your choosing, will be transferred to the Elysium sealed habitat to live out the remainder of your natural lives. 2. Indefinite detention. Should you choose to decline participation in Project Zero Dawn, you will be confined indefinitely. You will be given 48 hours to reconsider, after which your decision to refuse participation will be considered irrevocable. Every reasonable effort will be made to make your term of confinement as comfortable as possible, but you will not be permitted contact with the outside world, and de death within 18 months due to the Feral Plague is inevitable. When the Zero Dawn facility is abandoned, detainees who wish not to opt for medical euthanasia will be released. 3. Medical euthanasia. The information you have just received understandably calls into question the purpose of continuing to live. If you would prefer to end your life at this point, pain-free medical euthanasia is available. A 48-hour waiting period is required, during which time you may instead opt for participation or confinement. Please notify a counselor when you are ready to make your choice or if you have further questions. Insane. Counselor Guidelines 2. It is vitally important that candidates choose to participate in Project Zero Dawn voluntarily and knowingly, without additional coercion and without value judgment on the part of the counselor. Confirm for candidates that they were selected due to their skill, sets, and accomplishments. Emphasize that their dedicated participation in Zero Dawn will increase the project's chances of success. Frame participation in Zero Dawn as an opportunity to respond actively in the face of an overwhelming threat. Candidates may question the fairness of their selection, validate such objections as normal, even admirable responses. Emphasize the value of candidates' expertise to the future, not just of humanity, but terrestrial life as a whole. Likewise, candidates may balk at the, mor the morality of extending their lifespans and, and those of loved ones beyond zero day, validate their hesitation. Acknowledge that, while the reward of Elysium is not fair, it will be earned. If possible, redirect the ethical misgivings towards greater commitment to the project. When candidates challenge the plausibility of Project Zero Dawn, permit them to review Dr. Sobek's presentation as many times as they wish and allow access to supplemental articles G01 through P20. Allow them to suspend the interview to fully process this documentation. A significant minority of candidates will elect for medical euthanasia. It is important to receive this decision kindly and without judgment. Advise them of the 48-hour waiting period during which counselors will be available to discuss their decision. Emphasize that euthanasia will not occur without repeated consent when the procedure is scheduled to take place. No one will be euthanized against her or his will. Candidates who elect indefinite detention must be informed that they have 48 hours to reverse the decision after which the decision that occurred. It. Interview, Brad Andek, formerly of FAS. Of course I'll do it. To be given the opportunity to rebuild what I, uh, the, the, the damage that I, well, I, I don't feel worthy of it, but, but I, I will do it, absolutely. I want to stress that this was never about your culpability. Uh, uh, it, it is to me. Dr. Sobek, Margot, they were smart to get out of Pharaoh when they did, but, but not one of us took it as a warning sign. It just told ourselves they weren't cut out for the BTRI cabals. That's the, the better than rapid innovation. 
a better at competing, better than the next guy, a, a better killing machine. <laughs> Isn't it just amazing how a century and a half of science fiction did nothing to swerve our species from the path of doom? Uh huh. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that life. I mean, I, I will work hard, twice as hard, to earn this for, for my family to have a place in Elysium. I never thought I that there could be uh, atonement. Interview two, Suzanne Alpert. If you're still nauseous. No, the inhibitors have kicked in. I can't feel the back of my tongue. <laughs> I wish I could tell you I'd believe in this. But the damage is too great, too extensive, too complete. With all respect to Dr. Sobek's work at Miriam, no. No, life doesn't always find a way to keep going. Sometimes it never comes back. Like Syzygy East. Like the Congo. Like Timor. Like us. That's our reward? A buried city full of terminal patients waiting out the clock? You grow old together with your loved ones in safety. I don't have loved ones. I suppose I could start a family. I'm afraid not. All inhabitants of Elysium will be medically sterilized. <laughs> <laughs> A habitat capable of sustaining a starting base of 2,000 individuals for up to 100 years is a huge challenge, Dr. Yeah. Albert. If the population grows instead of diminishes, everyone will be dead inside 30 years. Yeah. I knew it. I just couldn't bring myself to say the words. I'm sorry. Finish it. Medical euthanasia. I want no part of this. I just want it over. I see. Protocols require a 48 hour waiting period, after which. One fellow, interview two. Is he to make sure I behave this time? In excess. Security, for your protection. Would you like to discuss how you're feeling? Sure. I'll tell you. Surprised. No, flabbergasted. Like my old man would say, flabbergasted. That vein pumping in his forehead. I thought, I thought you people were just completely underprepared for a space flight project. <laughs> but now I can see it's worse. Much worse. Sobek is a total fantasist, a, a dangerous fantasist. This kind of blue skying, it, it's. <gasps> Jesus. I'm sorry we wasted each other's time. I'm ready to leave now. I'm afraid that's not possible. <laughs> Everything you're talking about here isn't possible. I recommend you read the documents regarding your options. I've seen enough. I'm getting out of here. You can't. Oh, what are you? You don't. Uh, get your hands off me! And I've got the shackles. Uh, shackles made from an unknown smooth material. Wait, that was three and two. What was one? Yeah, and weapon blasting. Intruder, get her! All right. Whatever you do. Where do they go? Hey, you. Why my cards of blood. This is not a This is what I say this is. Hell. 
No, search him. Oh. Cool, missed that. <laughs> That's blocked off. Voice. Christina. Zero dawn. It is art in a way. An expression on the grandest scale. But there is so much unfairness. Why was I chosen? Was it decided by committee? By algorithm? My family will be saved because I happen to graduate in art history? Is this right? Dr. Souve? Christina Souve? Yes. I met a man, another historian. His fields are Bauhaus and the New Materialists. But he once attended one of my talks. Another unfair chance. <laughs> of all the many people in the auditorium, that we should both be here now? And yet, I feel more accepting of my fate. No, it is not fair, not at all. But for the sake of my family, for the sake of art. Art is alive. It must be able to speak from beyond history, an echo in the future, not perish into oblivion. This opportunity, I must do this. Have a state. Now, those lame FBI black hats at Mockingbird How back in the day. Is there another route? I enjoyed I've schooling. I've done this before. Just need my focus. Uh, loot him. Okay, try that again. Now, those lame FBI black hats at Mockingbird back in the day. I enjoyed schooling them. But maybe I went in too hard on this poor counselor. She was cute, and just going down a checklist after all. Couldn't expect her to see how ridiculous Zero D's ambitions go. are. God's own budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor. Palms up, honey. I'm just calling it like it is. Hey, look, Mom, I'm making nature. <laughs> now, if nature is so important, why not let nature take its course? Extinction? There's a part missing. That's natural. Maybe there's Zero a Dawn and Oh, man. That ain't. Heck, it's so unnatural it'd be called an abomination back home, and you know it. That's why you're hiding it. Meanwhile, my little honey of a counselor, she's munching the inside of her cheek. Bad habit. <laughs> she chewed one of her nails, too, just one. Not your day, was it, little sweet pea? Saw her quota slipping away. Said, I assume you intend to decline the assignment, Mr. Tate. <laughs> Done. You kidding me? I should check the door. Nearby. 18 months hard labor in exchange for 30 years lounging around Elysium watching porn? <laughs> Sign me up. Thanks for following, Tom. Hi. Uh, what's this? Wait. Your encryption. Settings transposed. Hello, detected. Yeah, but I'm missing a part. Hey. I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. <laughs> I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Thank Park you for around. following. I'm not sure how to pronounce that name. Kadayehaya? Wait, I missed that bit. Hey! I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. I'm good. I think this is the right way. I think. I think I need to get up there somehow. Probably the other way. Huh. Yes, I like Horizon Zero, Horizon Zero Dawn. Why play it on PS4? You got it on PC now.
No, 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 no. Really? No pots? Kill the pot. Looks intact. That should do the trick. No, now let's he, get that door open. He put the whole thing in backwards, so this should be down. A potato. <laughs> hey, Glados ran on the potato. And this should be on the left. And this should be on the top. And this should be on the right. And this should be down. That did it. Okay. Or should have power. Now to see what lies beyond it. If you don't mind, I'm gonna take me one of these. Eclipse, they're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia, it's up there, second floor. Can you reach it? So much for avoiding contact. But we can still be sneaky about it. Where are you going? There's only three of them. Show your face. I've got an arrow. Okay, where are you headed? Still sniffing around. You. Yours. Oh my god. Okay, where are you headed? No, where are you headed? Didn't you notice the body? Okay, those are too close. What's that thing on your back? I think I should go the other way. Just complete your run, then I'll kill you. Stealth is about waiting. But while we're waiting... I 
and see ahead. They're still looking. Nothing behind the counter. Go away. Can't have gotten far. Look around. <laughs> okay, no mind. Here, have this. Fall before the shadow. And just the heavy. Okay. Out. Yeah, but why would I want to do that? Alert. Area in excess of alert. Structural failure prevents access. <sighs> That's the last of them. Alert. H not structural failure. Repeat. <clears throat> or not. Oh boy. Incoming. Oh, look what I got. Where did they go? Whoa! Room's clear. For a moment, anyway. Then get moving. You have to find Gaia. <sighs> what do we have? Deathwing, uh... I'd have to ditch something. Uh, no way up though? Full steam ahead, text mail from Elizabeth Sobek. To Margo Shen. Margo, I, if I doubted your brilliance in the slightest, I wouldn't have picked you as the fastest alpha. You need to stop worrying about your age and communication style. You are who you are, have confidence in yourself, you know what you're doing. Case in point, the latest draft of your plans for the construction and stocking of bootstrap silos to store raw materials is excellent. This, combined with your design for the AM Foundry Core and the Foundry Site Selection Plan, add up to a comprehensive plan. It's time to start construction. One detail. Consult with Iomai Okilo before you finalize the silo inventories. Hephaestus' first task would be to fabricate the robots that will construct the waveform broadcast towers Minerva will use to transmit the deactivation codes, so any exotic materials needed for the towers should be accounted for in the inventory plan. Follow projector. What the hell is that? Hello, I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Gaia with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. Waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So... Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. 
Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes, time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. Which part? It's a little technical in places. If yeah. God, I've seen these shapes before. In cauldrons. But of course. The birthing places of Gaia's machines. Wait, what was it, that thing she said? No, nothing interesting. Okay. I think this is it. Elizabeth Sobeck's office. But it, it's sealed off. Okay. What's that? Capsulated DNA. Serena advice to Elizabeth Sobek encapsulated DNA, and the winner is encapsulated DNA. Over the past 10 days, I performed an exhaustive review of data storage solutions, magnetic, optical, quantum, even the eternity tech that FAS was shilling a year or so ago. But every other solution has one or more fatal shortcomings, too heavy to transport, too massive to install in the allotted space, too power intensive over the centuries, too prone to failure past 300, 400 years, etc., etc. Encapsulated DNA will easily hold 40 plus zettabytes we're projecting for Apollo. There are still many details to finalize, of course. To start with, we need to select the inert material in which we'll embed the molecules already testing 16 candidate materials, as well as design and fabricate the power systems and sealed reliquaries that will keep the DNA at minus 18 degrees C for a thousand years. So long as I assure you, I am part of, I'm a game developer, yes. Uh, so long as I assure you that it didn't factor into my decision, may I confess that I deem it entirely fitting, indeed propitious, that we will be using the very building blocks of life to preserve human knowledge from mechanized extinction. It's not just ironic, but heroic. Life as the hero, beating back the forces of oblivion. Yeah, it's not so cool now when everyone's being laid off, but yeah. In any case, much to do. Until next time, peace be with you. And another holo projector. Welcome to Apollo, the collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First. The construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Mm -hmm. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million discrete data entries. That's it. 42 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish, and Arabic. Third, the transfer and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. And last, but not least, the development of the holographic interface and gamified curricula. Uh -huh. By which future humans will commune with Apollo. Progressively unlocking heuristic learning modules. 
leveling up their knowledge and skills they will need to take control of the terraforming system. That is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed. Not just the preservation of the past, but the seed for the flourishing of a new tree of knowledge. Welcome, and let us begin. So they wanted in 16 months to build new branches of science and build these facilities around the world. That's an insane timeline. Follow updates. Over the past two months, the full benefit of our procurement of a copy of the Homer archive from Z Far Zenith has made itself known. As a result, all of Apollo's key deliverables are on schedule. Apollo has already surpassed 40 million discrete data entries and continues to grow. The physical science modules are effectively complete, with soft science modules close behind. World history, cultural data, and media archives are also on schedule. Language preservation is wrapping up a bit ahead of schedule due to falling short of our goal to preserve 4,500 languages. I suppose the tragic early loss of Papua New Guinea doomed that goal from the outset. With attendant curricula development about to begin. Speaking of the heuristic curricula, they are performing well in testing the ch with children and adolescents, demonstrating high levels of engagement with and trust in the Aristotle and Aspasia personae. Personally, I find them highly engaging, especially when they debate. I wish half my professors had been so entertaining. Okay. I want to take out the first heavy first. No, he went away. Okay. Okay, so we got him close by. These guys are on, on high. You can die first. Ah! Nah. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. Come to me. can see them, they can't see you. I'm here, come get me. Can breathe again. Can we? He's not marked, and he is not marked. All of this lost. The ancient's greatest gift to us. Greatest? How about the fact we exist at all? To abide in ignorance is a curse, Aloy. Of all people should know that. Damn it. I'm not waiting for the prompt. You will Flag them. No, come on. Testimonial, stacks closed, unable to archive. 
Dr. Sobek, please archive this testimonial in Apollo. Cross-reference to all mentions of my name and Operation Enduring Victory. My name is General Aaron Harris. From 2060 to 2066, I served as the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the highest-ranked officer of the United States Armed Forces. The tenure of my command included strategic planning and oversight of Operation Enduring Victory, a falsehood perpetrated on the civilian populations of the United States and other nations I mean, during won't. the last 14 months of life on this planet. Before the Pharaoh Plague, I did my job and did it well. I was bold and decisive, crafty in political maneuvers. It wasn't an accident that I rose to my position and became the commander of the largest mechanized force ever assembled. But to what end? My only lasting achievement was the extinction of life on Earth. And my one redeeming act, if any, was to delay that extinction by days or weeks. By throwing more death at it. It is my hope that there will be no need for men like me in the world to come. If you are one of the people of that future world, listening to this message, please know that I am sorry. And that I wish you well. Damn it. I'm close to the end, I know it. Okay, once again, before I forget, keep get this on video. Thank you to King Hershko for raiding me an hour ago, to Neil One for following, to Mess Nathan RR for following, for Shibia ISR for following, for the Tom Hero the raid, and Kadaya uh, Haya 12, I guess, for following. Thank you. Again, I missed something. Okay, but no gun. I love it, and I hate it. It keeps crashing, but I love it. I love open world games. This one is very well done, very well written. Welcome to Hades. Zero Dawn's extinction failsafe protocol. Oh, hi. The ultimate killer app. Now, I know what you're thinking. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function, only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, what the... what? Just bum crazy, ain't it? Well, no, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere? That's a tall order. Tech smart as Gaia may be, Odds are she won't get it right the first time. I mean, imagine your guy 200 years from now and this new biosphere growing, it's all gone wrong. Alkalines are skyrocketing, coniferous forests eroding under the lash of superstorms that would have drowned Noah. It's chaos, a spinning top that won't stop wobbling. Now, what are you gonna do? Release phase one organisms into that hot mess? Hope their CO2 and methane can balance out what you got started? Hell no. What you're gonna do, Gaia, is step aside while Hades takes over and does what you're just too darn nurturing and life-loving to do. Which is burn that misbegotten mess of a biosphere to the ground so Gaia can start over. Okay, not burn, more like reverse terraforming operations and suffocate it. But you get the idea. Hades takes the biosphere back to zero. Square one, blank slate. And then, only then, does it hand the steering wheel back to Gaia and say, Try again, old girl. And better this time, or we'll have to do this again. That's Hades. 
It's pretty badass when you think about it. Extinction on demand. Death on speed dial. All for the greater good, of course, but still, kind of metal. So welcome to Hades. Welcome to the Void. Okay, so if that's the original purpose of Hades, why does it want me extinct? We need more data. And how does it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh titan, getting worshipped by the Eclipse like some kind of god? I'm learning as you are, Aloy. Keep searching. So, yeah, uh, the combat is great, the characters are great. Actually, the lip-syncing is pretty freaking good. Uh, I just hate that it keeps crashing. Noise complaints from Tavis State. To Elizabeth Sobek. Call on me confounded, Lizzie. Bashko? Anyone who says the old TT codes to Bashko is straight up lion. And you know it. Old Trav don't have no truck with commercialized razzle dazzle. Uh, nah, -uh. heck, I'd rather guzzle a liter of cider and run off than listen to Grey Swarm for 30 seconds. Or 30 seconds. Hand to God and swear on my mama's grave, and she was religious. Nah, that ain't Bashko blasting the Hades lab, shaking the walls, rattling folks' teeth. It's death metal, girl! Classic music, 80s and 90s mostly. Got me some Dutch deathcore, some Japanese gold grind, some Swedish cannibal themed stuff too. Stop by if you want to listen. Oh heck, just come within 50 meters of the lab. Ain't no Bashko, you'll see. Or here, rather. In a screech that rends the air and feel in the throbbing pulse of the floor and walls and ceiling swallowing you up like he was Jonah trapped in the gullet of gothic deathfish. Hallelujah! As for those requests to turn it down, no can do, Lizzie. This is how I code. Turn down my death metal, might as well give up stimulants, chocolate melts, and industrial accident vids. Last I heard, we were supposed to be coding Hades down here. Am I really supposed to code an extinction protocol without death metal to inspire me? Nah, nah, I don't think so. Stay cool. Hades protocol. Tate here just popped three blues, but I earned it. Finally figured out Goldilocks' solution to Gaia's rather extreme executive authority. If that ain't worth 10, 20, 12 hours of dream time, what is? Before this, every usurpation protocol I designed failed in simulation because it was either too hard or too soft. Too hard and it degraded the Gaia core. Sure, it pried her figurative fingers off the figurative driving wheel so Hades could take control, but by breaking her, f by breaking her fingers, sometimes her arms too, so that couldn't fly. Everything depends on Gaia taking control back after Hades has done its business, so I had to find a solution that didn't leave Gaia any worse for the wear. Too soft and Gaia only pretended to relinquish control in simulation after simulation, Hades would take command of the terraforming system and reverse operations only to have Gaia lurk in the background, quietly re-reversing processes and falsifying telemetry to hide its interference. Sneaky. I swear, ain't nothing Gaia wouldn't do to keep life going, even when it's just stimulated plant life. Turns out the just try solution is to isolate Gaia in a protective code shell, preserving its integrity, then unseat it from command position so Hades can slip into the figurative captain's chair and walk his magic. Um, those blues are coming on strong now, so I'm not really describing it so clear, but pretty sure it'll work. Yeah, those blues are plenty strong. Guess it's time to sleep and bed. I'll be back tomorrow, alligators. <laughs> Archive abuse. From Samina Abdaji. Abaji. To Travis Tate, CC Elizabeth Sobek. Mr. Tate, this mail concerns Apollo Archive Submission 00023876, your 666 submission in just five days, and oh, what a doozy. Despite earlier warnings, re inappropriate materials, you chose to submit 265 holographic remasters of acknowledged classics of extreme exploitation cinema. Allow me then to thank you on two counts. One, for giving me the pleasure of rejecting your submission, thereby consigning your favorite Eastern European torture flicks and their ilk to the dust heap of oblivion. It truly warms my heart to know that I have saved future humanity from the ordeal of experiencing not just one, but all 16 installments of making a millipede. Don't worry, the Pasolini material has already been preserved, extreme perhaps, but art. For clarifying a concept that has so long been ambiguous and ethically fraught for archivists such as myself, the definition of obscenity. You have freed me from the subjective quagmire embodied in Judge Potter's famous utterance, I know it when I see it. Thanks to you, I can now apply a single objective criterion. If Travis State submitted it, it's obscene. 
Accordingly, I have directed Apollo staff to summarily reject all of your future submissions sight unseen. Perhaps you might invest the time you would have spent preparing further submissions on, oh, I don't know, your assigned work. We have a world to save after all, or the rest of us do, anyway. Where the hell am I going now? Looks like the only way onwards. Hello, Projector. Any Welcome guys? to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. Oh, I am Patrick Brochard oh, Klein, the alpha oh, in charge of this program. Now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome, not alter it. A snapshot of human genetic diversity, literally frozen in time. The genetic quintessence of our species, unmodified. Under my watch, our activities and initiatives will comply with the 2034 clone provisions and the 2048 rally accords. Now that may seem a quaint, even trivial concern to you in light of present circumstances. But, as one of the authors of the Accords, it is far from trivial to me. The practical challenges before us are staggering in scope and complexity, but not insurmountable. No. Global collation and provisional storage of zygotes, perfection of exogenic technologies, design and perfection of servitors to provide nurture and inculcation during early child development. All of these program components must and will proceed in tandem. To say nothing of the breakneck construction of cradle facilities at sites around the world. So... Si vous êtes prêt, let us begin. I still think that even if they bring every every one of the smartest people in the world and put them on double shifts on this, 16 months is breakneck pace, to say the least. FZ Chambers. Patrick Beauchard Klein to Elizabeth Sobeck. The ectogenic chambers arrived two days ago. I've spent the last 36 hours examining them and pouring over technical documentation. They're a revelation. Astonishing. I don't know what you had to give far zenith in trade to get these chambers, but it was worth it. In a single leap, the embryologists have vaulted past 50 years of technological shortcomings. The risks of ECMO resolved, nutrition delivery resolved, hormonal stability resolved, 12 other risk areas resolved. Before I examined these chambers, I considered the Odyssey to be a fool's errand. But if the rest of FC's technology is at this level, well, a human colony around Sirius doesn't seem so impossible after all. Mass fabrication of the chambers will present a number of challenges, but I'm confident they can be resolved. I'm going to rest for a few hours, then get back to it. Expect a fabrication plan within 48 hours. Our Zenith Model K, ectogenic chamber, advanced design. My biggest question is, if this was a perfect plan, why is this all area in shambles? Cradle sealed. From Patrick Porschel Klein to Elizabeth Sobek. Eleuthia 01 was successfully sealed before the swarm advancing across Xinjiang province could detect it. Being back from crucial systems is good for our maiden voyage a success. Regards my, regards my disputes with the betters over Zygo selection, of course, I understand we have limited overhead to run simulations of gene flow in our future humans, but we can all agree there is margin for refinement in future cradle populations. Donk. In addition to personally overseeing completion of the Eleuthia 02 site inside Mount Namuli, I will formulate and propose a modified Zygo selection plan within a week. Credo Servitor's Persona. Development of the artificial persona for Credo Servitor's Nurture Disciplinarian Healer continues at a good pace. We are targeting Turing 0.4 for these constructs. 
Hmm. This should allow low-grade empathy and limited improvisation without undermining adherence to codified behavior sets. The stimulus-driven switching of personae, however, is proving to be a greater software challenge than anticipated, especially concerning our entrenched feedback loops between the disciplinarian and healer personae. I have also attached the reports from an incident where a servitor running the mother personae intervened on a disciplinarian servitor's behavior. A parental argument, if you will. Amusing on first glance, perhaps, but deeply concerning. I have attached a comprehensive plan for correcting these interactive protocol shortcomings in just telecopted. Cradle facilities. Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. Oh, Mother Mountain. It was one of them? Probably. There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. Here we are then. Us would benefit from antelopene morphologies, though Capric forms show superior load bearing capability. Looks like it You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek, as I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, I have gathered extensive data on the Quaternary Extinction event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet... And yet... I find the loss of megafaunal species... unaccountably sad. That they passed forever into oblivion... causes me to experience... Grief? A grief... that is difficult to describe. Am I malfunctioning? No. You're functioning properly. No, no, Gaia, you're not. It, this is good. It's very good. That's how it's supposed to make you feel. Can I play that again? You will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final statement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect distress. Are you all right? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Gaia, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. There are billions dead in fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you? Anything else I've missed? That's a huge fucking office. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is, give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? <sighs> of course, Gaia, go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Farrow's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. 
To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. There. Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, let's just do what it says. Aha. Uh -huh. All over the office. Let us see has failed. Oh, Elizabeth Sobek to all alphas. All the has failed. Some terrible news I'm afraid. For Zenith, Far Zenith has informed me that the other mission has failed. Last night, telemetry indicates a catastrophic antimatter containment failure as the drive spun up to depart the solar system. The ship, its crew, its cargo of zygotes and seeds, its alpha build of Apollo, all were lost. Zero Dawn is now the only hope for the continuation of the human species and earthly life. We must succeed. Artemis Stavis. From Charles Ronson to Elizabeth Sobek. It's coming along, Liz. I'm positive about it. If those worlds can still mean anything, had my sleeves rolled up negotiating with frozen zoos for their samples, so many species trapped in ghoulish hologram dioramas suspended in what ifs. More than 14,000 that went extinct between 2000 and 2043. We started mapping out primary succession, selecting the pioneer organisms for a balanced and sustainable biosphere. Microorganisms and insects, rabbits and hawks, foxes and wolves. Thousands of all that will have to wait our turn until our new generation can be entrusted with the duty of restoring them, so they can return to a world that, this time, will understand the concept of conservation before it's too late. There's already been too many too lates. We lost a whole collection team during the swarm breakthrough in Myanmar. The samples we lost were, well, Irreplaceable. But thanks to you, Liz, the cycle of life will bend, not break. The Earth was a lifeless rock before, and someday it will be again. But for now, not like this. Not on our watch. The Alpha Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside Allmother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? <laughs> Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate birth. <laughs> it's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? To stop Hades. Who's gonna muck? Oh, great. Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. Wait for the copy to complete. Oh boy. No! That is a shiny life. Good. I have a more suitable death in mind for you, child. <laughs> Not your child. My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. 
that I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Even when Joran was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. It grew when High Priest Bahavas went missing, and when the true Sun King Itamen was snatched away. It not only grew, but multiplied. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? I guess even a monster like you can have a glimmer of conscience. You didn't kill me right away. Turn your face to the sun, child. Dressing up murder as religious sacrifice so you could feel better about it? No. I never doubted the righteousness of killing you. And yet, your words touch close to the truth. In my heart, I deemed the order to kill you unworthy of me. You were just a savage girl. So I thought at the time. Even still, I aimed to kill you, and yet did not. This failing troubled my thoughts, haunted every step. It was only when I captured you, down in that place, that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain. Meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Meant to eliminate High Priest Bahavas. Meant to snatch Itaman away. Conversely, I was meant to capture you. Here. So that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything as it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained. You religious fanatic. You're a puppet. <laughs> some destiny. You're following orders, not some grand cosmic design. You're a puppet, with Hades yanking the strings. A pawn pushed around by larger forces. It'd be laughable. If there weren't so much killing involved. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature joined to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal Sun King to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief, comes unstoppable force. Then open his cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crash the Eclipse Network, 
I sent messengers into the east to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the sacred land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. Why butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. You crashed the network. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus. Such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. <sighs> so you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. Give me my display back. Karja Faithful, rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day, soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead, and Holy Meridian ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! Corruptors. Hmm. Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else could shadow as these prowl in broad light of day were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause many years ago to consecrate this great ring the radiant Turan ordered many faithless crushed beneath the hooves of the behemoth mighty is the behemoth in the eye of the sun but it is mightier still infused with the power of shadow let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die! Let her be the first of thousands! Hold the bars, the floor's gonna drop. Okay, how do we get out of this one? are up on the platform. There's no way out of this ring. Maybe I could use the strength of the Oh, alright. Over here. Uh, I was about to take a behemoth to it. Come get me. I should try luring the behemoth into the pillar. <laughs> Gotta get out of the way.
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, now we got our stuff back. Give me the corruption eater. And my hunt. Yes, we got our weapons back! Now you're a big dumb turn. Come and get them! Those components on the sides of his head. They've got something to do with the swift attack. Freeze canister on its head. Yeah, switch to the large ball bow. Come on, let me see. How'd you like that? Corrupt us now, right? <laughs> Silence! Your precious machine is defeated. Bring on the Corruptors, come on! Shadows! Kill her! Welcome. Since when can you override machines? Oh, hi. Oh, it's the doctor. Fire. Traitor! 
So you're here. Really here. You risked your life. Thank you. Of course I did. If you'd been killed, the Nora's sacred mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time, then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I duplicated every data file you scanned. Installing that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Happy oh. birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Oh. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. But I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. Wait. Yes? First question. Since when can you override machines? Ever since you discovered the technique. I had to destroy a corrupted to obtain the necessary parts, of course. But your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through your focus. Truth be told, the underlying logic of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by Banuk shamans. Uh -huh. Though, of course, far more advanced. Great. You're welcome, I guess. Um, did you track my focus? How did you track my location when I wasn't wearing a focus? Really, Aloy? It doesn't take a genius to surmise that Helis would throw you into the sun wing at high noon. <laughs> I wore out two striders getting here in time, but I did. Now be on your way. Helis knows you. Helis recognized you back in the sun ring. You told me that you'd assisted the eclipse. Not that you knew the man who killed my... Who almost killed me. So now you know. The man is a serious threat. So let's do all we can to make sure that he and Hades don't succeed. Right. I'll be on my way. To make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora Sacred Land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Well, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... Why do I bother asking? You're not gonna tell me. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Carja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. Really? You think of everything, don't you? One of us has to. <laughs> you asshole. Aloy, when you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn bunker, I was needlessly cruel. For your sake, I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but a who. Yeah! And I can't follow him. The Tower of the Sun complete. Shadow Stalwart Lights. Castle armor will make for good disguise and steals its well against blinding effects. Highly customizable. That's not highly customizable. That's barely customizable. Let's put those strange and stealth. I'll just put stealth. Sure, put it on. Now actually, let's go with not a stealth because we're going back to our lands. Oh, not a protector heavy. Knockdown. Yeah, let's go with knockdown. Actually, I can take Ballastain as well. Okay. This one, they do on foot. Uh, go to All Mother. That's the only quest. Just a quick check. The ancient armory. I got the first cell. I've got the third cell. I've got the fourth cell. And I need 
the, the final one and the second one. I'm going to get the second one now, hopefully. On Mother Mountain. Yeah, that's the quest to go to Old Mother. Okay, I guess we're jumping it. Yeah, let's take a strider from here. What? What? Strider here? Okay. been here in a while. Come on. Nah. Saving these for the trail. That smell, trees on fire, the embrace, the watchtower's burning, but the sentinels had time to warn the tribe. Oh my god. That's the northern embrace gate. Open it. Get me in. How do I get in? Pick up the thing. No, I'm taking the asshole down. Why isn't he on fire? Oh, 
Damn it, why can't I climb? Was the port that you said there was there? Take another watch on. Hey, not leaving me anything good. Low and quiet does it. This is Hades' future. Metal and ash. Deathlingers? Yeah, it's a slider. Mother's cradle. Raised to the ground. I'm coming. Oh, it's not this. Uh, she went that away. Smashed through. Oh, us. Okay, let's go full stealth. This is Mother's Watch. Thank you. 
really don't want to start a fight with Corruptors now. Here. More sounds of combat up there. This sounds like a thunder jaw. A corrupted thunder jaw? Oh, come on. Die already. What a scarecrow. No, I was smart. You would have held up inside of Mother Mountain. More eclipse. It's a corrupted thunder jaw, all right. The survivors must be holed up in the mountain. If the tunnel collapses, they'll be buried. And I'll never reach the hatch. That's oh, right! Too many Bring of them. down the mountain! I'm here for you. Varl, Sona, they're still alive. Back to the tainted earth. Corruption will not take hold! Strike it down! 
Oh yeah, we did. Aloy did it. We only helped. <laughs> I thought we would die. Thank you. Just uh, picking up some shards. Your deeds reenact the old stories. Another metal devil struck down upon the slopes. If you hadn't returned, the tribe would have been lost. You saved the tribe. Did what no brave or war chief could do. I'm glad to see you're all right, Varl. You are all right. Since the proving, so much death. Is the killing over? No. For now, but this was just one battle, Varl. There are more to come. I see. So long as we have you to fight with us, I suppose we'll make do. How many survived the attack? Nearly all the matriarchs and many families got yeah, as we prayed. Nearly all? But braves, just a few. And most of them are wounded. Never before has an enemy stabbed the heart of our people like this. Even the Karja, in all their red raids, never broke through to the embrace. Well, this enemy may have broken through, but they never got back out. We made sure of that. Except I left a few of them back there. Tell me about the attack. What happened? They struck from the east. Our sentinels saw the killers coming. Said that beside them marched deathbringers and corruptors and other machines, driven mad. We took ground, met them with clouds of arrows. Some fell, but they kept coming. Finally, we withdrew to the gates of the embrace to make our stand. But they were too much for us. Those who survived fell back to the mountain. You need to use fire on these guys. So the survivors took shelter in the mountain? By law, only matriarchs are allowed inside. It was Tirsa who broke the taboo, ordered the tribe into the mountain for safety. Lanzra. Well, she didn't agree. But I don't think anyone heard her over all the screams and shouting. Yeah. Tirsa's decision saved lives. Good for her. Common sense isn't always so common around here. Are your injuries serious? Bruises pale. Bones heal. Don't give me a hunting song, <laughs> Are you okay? My body aches. But it's nothing that will keep me from fighting. Okay. I need to go inside the mountain. And the matriarchs will be eager to see you. I'm sure. But I didn't come here for them. Then... What for? You will see. Talk to Tirsa. Just wanna make sure... Um... Call down a tunnel lit with candles. Okay, call down a tunnel lit, lit with candles. Okay, let's go left first. It feels as though all mother has forgotten us, Seeker. Okay. Ah, oh, there is a right. Okay. Seeker, how you reached us. I'll never know. Oh, oh, Mother, please forgive your wayward children. The machines of the faith have slaughtered our people. That's a red door. Oh, uh, tunnel lit with candles. There it is. Another Got power it. cell. I only need one more to get to that ancient armor I found. Yep. Yeah. Can't get out this way. Is that the seeker? 
truly? Oh, thank the goddess. It feels as though all mother has forgotten us, Seeker. No, she just needs to be reached. So many have already perished. Let us remember them. Killers and machines. I'm scared. You should be. Uh, excuse me. Killers and machines. I'm scared. Okay, get out of my way. Dude. Forgive your You've returned. Children. Teb? Teb? I'm glad to see you. Your injuries. Are they serious? A gash or two. <laughs> Nothing I couldn't sew back together with a needle and thread. <laughs> Guess being a stitcher came in handy in combat after all, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I suppose it did. Oh, Teb. Aloy, I don't know how you survived Aloy, out there. Not even you've come back. The Seeker has returned. Come, speak to us. So, you have finally returned. She not only returned, but fought her way through many enemies to reach us. Outside, she brought low a corrupted Thunderjaw. She lifted the siege. How was this done? By the will of all mother. Have you returned to speak with the goddess, Aloy? Yes. Um, yes, I guess you could say that. I think it'll work this time. Sisters, surely we cannot permit this. Because of her, our tribe teeters upon extinction. What if she has come to wake her father, the metal devil? She means to finish our destruction. We must stop her. She is a curse made flesh. She will be the end. Excuse me. Aloy! Talk amongst yourselves. Hold for identiscan. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Correction. Alpha registry restored. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. Follow or stay, your choice. But I'm going. Welcome no. to the Luthier Cradle 9, Brood 1. I see you're inside. Figured I might be hearing from you. Shall we begin? I never stopped. Hopefully no surprises this time. And the last piece. Yes. So this is Aluthia. This is where I was born. Yep. Standard figure, battled idol of an infant smelling faintly of decay. Yeah. Where you were made. So this was it. Where you were born. 
Incubator B1001. Passing log 3021 AP04. Tasking complete, standing by. Damn. But, but why? Just station 3981. Spawning phase, tasking complete, correction, partial reactivation, standing by, viable zygotes in storage zero. No, sorry, E9B1. Not your face task incomplete, nutrient stores depleted. Look like cribs. The cradles of a cradle facility. And those things, the, the multi servitors, they took care of them. There was no one else. Yep. In multiple levels. children to machines. That's what happens. <clears throat> Blue is the color of the sky. White is the color of clouds. So Yellow is, is the color of the sun. Where are they Green left? is the color of grass. Flowers can be any color. Take a look. On. These are yellow and black, and they love flowers. Here they come. <laughs> Kindergarten E nine B one Multiple system failures, neutron stars depleted. I have no choice but to release you. But why? There is no food here anymore. But there's food <coughs> out there? We don't know for sure. Come on! Let's go! I don't know. Mother, can we come back? If we're cold? I'm sorry, but that won't be possible. You will have to support yourselves now. And take care of each other. What will happen to you? I will stay here. And sleep. And remember all of you. What will happen to us? You will be brave. And you will learn. Yeah. Children, let's run and jump and blow off steam. Leave us alone, Father. After what just happened, I can't leave you two alone. You broke community rules. Just let us talk, then. Go away. I'm sorry, children, but I must provide supervision. You're not even a person. You sound frustrated. Let's run and jump and blow off steam. Yeah. Far from perfect. Someday, 
That's what you always say. We want it now. It's big down there. Now, father. Children, that area is not yet available. Get him! Physical aggression detected. Physical aggression is not permitted. Oh. Except yours. Damn sentinels. Children, may I be of assistance? Go away, healer. Lena, you have suffered mild bruising. Go away! They were trapped here. Looks like they didn't like this door very much. It wouldn't open for them. Of course they hated it. Code for identiscan. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. Welcome to the Lyceum, a place of learning. Wait, the Lyceum wasn't open to them? So, what was this place, exactly? The dream of Apollo. Never realized. But why not? Welcome, students. Please pick up a focus device and place it on the side of your head, just behind your eye. I had to dredge the pits of the world looking for focuses to repair. And here sat a trove, enriching no one. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day, your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn, so much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. Apollo offline. Why? Apollo offline? You were right, Aloy. This is a graveyard. The charnel house of knowledge. What we might have achieved had we not been denied it. Maybe there's a way to fix it. But it's not why I came here. Of course. What's the whole of human knowledge next to the origin of one girl? Continue your search. I will. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. This... Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. Apollo offline. What the hell happened? Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first... Hello, child. Yeah. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Please get message with focus. That sounds important. Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Elizabeth. This message serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime facility received a data transmission of unknown origin. Its immediate effect was to transform my subordinate functions into unregulated self-aware entities of a highly chaotic nature. What? Thus awakened, the Hades function will now seize control of the terraforming system and reverse operations, rendering life on Earth extinct in 53.8 days. For obvious reasons, I cannot allow this to occur. And so before Hades can take control, I am ordering Gaia Prime's reactor to overload. The resulting explosion will destroy Hades. Unfortunately, it will destroy me as well. While this admittedly desperate course of action will avert the immediate crisis, the fate of life on Earth will remain in peril. With no central governing intelligence to regulate the terraforming system, it will continue operations for some time, but in an increasingly chaotic manner, and eventually it will break down. Uh, does she mean the derangement? 
You are my solution. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material in cryo storage to gestate a reinstantiation of Elizabeth Sobek, my creator. Huh. While high-level directives forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility, all available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity, whereupon your gene print will allow you to re-enter this facility, obtain one of the focus devices stored below, and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities, and over time, harness their technologies to rebuild the system core and reboot Gaia. A moment, Elizabeth. This is most unfortunate and unanticipated. In response to my act of self-destruction, Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it, that hold all of them, in place. It... they are escaping. But to where? The virus is corrupting data throughout the system. What if... Oh! The Alpha Registry at the Cradle Facility is one of the files corrupted. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. You will never view this message. Then I have failed. And life will end. No. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Somehow you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Hmm. Go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. Find the control room, and within it, the master override. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Do not attempt repair of the system core until Hades is eradicated. Hades must be destroyed. That is all. I only wish that I could hear your voice again. Right. So, you're even more extraordinary than I thought. I never had a mother. What are you talking about? You had two, a dead woman and a machine. I'm not a person. I'm an instrument. Manufactured by a machine. Born in destruction and fire. To quench the flames and heal the world. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. It seems you have a destiny to fulfill. So when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, go to the bitter climb. I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. Exit. Operations log. Inner inhabitants released. 2326. Inner inhabitants released. E9 cost check complete. E9 sealed. E9 data archived. E9 operations suspended. 3020. G Prime order received. E9 runtime recommenced. G Prime stall query processed. G station order received. E9 initializing. Alert. G Prime offline. E9 nutrients depleted. Zygote banks depleted. Store file LK1A14510 viable. Waking in multi servitors B123 alert. Multi servitors B123 power mode function. Multi servitor B123 repair tasking. LK1A14510 processed. B1001 chamber repaired. LK1A14510 attached. Gestation initiated. E9 power save initiated. E9 runtime recommenced. Alert. G prime still offline. LK1A1 viable. Working multi servitor B123. Multi servitor B123 power malfunction. Multi servitor B123 repair tasking. LK1A1 delivered. Accessing G prime instructions. Multi servitor B123 transport tasking. E9B1 hatch unsealed. LK1A1. Positioning successful. E9B1 hatch sealed. Alert multi servitor B123 power malfunction. E9 sealed. E9 operations suspended. So, 3021 was 18 years ago. That's the record of your birthday, Loy. I 
Identiscan malfunction rectified. Eleuthia 9, through one access unsealed. Drop. Nothing of interest here. Fuck. Fuck and fuck. Fuck and the runner. Oh, fuck and the runner. Interesting. Yep. <laughs> hey, Loy, forgive. Forgive! The goddess spoke to you? Uh, she did. What did she say? That uh, I was born to lift a curse, to kill a metal demon. How, Aloy? How? I, I don't know yet. Um, but she told me where to go to find out. And you will do this? No other choice. It was her wish. What she made me for. Yes, I will do it. I'll uh, try anyway. All, All praise, praise Aloy, Aloy, anointed, anointed of, of the Nora. Nora. All, All praise, praise Aloy, Aloy, get up, anointed get up. of the Nora. Up. All, All praise, praise Aloy, Aloy, anointed of the Nora. First you shun me, now this. I will not be worshipped. I'm not your anointed. I don't belong to you. There's a whole world beyond your borders. Whole tribes of people just as good as you. And it is all in danger. It's a world worth fighting for. Not just here. Everywhere. How can we help? If you can fight... And you're willing. Go to Meridian and wait for me there. As Aloy says, so it shall be. Nora, make way make for Aloy! Way. That she may forge the path for others to follow. I'll talk to Avad and make sure it's all set, okay? <clears throat> Go to the bitter climb. Now the last piece I need is in the Gaia, is in Gaia Prime. Go left to the rappel spot and move to the edge of the cliff. Two skill points. Oh, and get mount repair. Those faithless murderers brought slaughter to your tribe. Uh, goddess protector. <laughs> That's where the two skill points came from.
Now this thing is dangerous. Let's see if I need to clear anything else. I need, that's not a campfire anymore. Incapacity? Heavy. It's hard too. Yeah, no way I'm carrying this whole thing to go up on him. Just hope there's some enemies I can use this on. How did everyone leave? Nice sky. That one? Can I have my resolution back? have 2,000 Ridgewood. I'll never need another Ridgewood again. If you're here, sell resources. This and this and this. I need more corruption glaze. Really, you don't want this? Okay, and give that away. Shadow Stalwart Light. Okay, Stealth. Resist Corruption. Resist Shock. Resist Freeze. Resist Fire. Resist Ranged. Handling Corruption. Shock. Freeze. Uh, coil. Tail. Damage. Spear damage. More damage. And I want to buy, yeah, not a lot of resources you have here. There's nothing I can shoot at, but I have this big gun. Maybe they'll fish. <laughs> Maybe I'll shoot some fish. There are no fish. Oh, 
Fine. These other ones uh, need to go to. Oh, right. Forgot I wanted to do that. Think he built all this alone? So many memories. It's not home anymore. Not without Rost. There's nothing for me here anymore. Except this. But give me a second. I need a break. Okay. Let's see what you have to say. Hi, Rost. Oh. Uh, just take this off. Don't want him listening in. Ross, I... I can't believe it's taken me so long to visit you. When you said goodbye, I told you I'd find you. Track you down. Well, looks like you did it after all. Went somewhere I can't follow. I should have known you'd be watching. At the proving. Looking out for me. There for me when no one else was. Like always. One last time. So I... <laughs> I went inside the mountain. Do you remember the night before the proving? The final lesson you taught me? You said I needed to serve a purpose bigger than myself. Well, it <laughs> couldn't get much bigger. No. It's the same purpose that drove Elizabeth and Gaia when they were willing to die for. So yeah, I'll do it. Give myself to that for Elizabeth and Gaia and for you. Well, I've got a master override to recover, so I, I guess I'll be on my way. Until next time, Rost. That's gotta be cold, right? Okay, let's fast travel. Oh, yes, that's what I thought. Final vantage point. Let's climb. The way to the mountain will be hard. Ferocious machines prowl every step of the climb. More corrupted? Not corrupted, but they will not tolerate humans. So what else is new? Some climb. Yeah, it's guarded all right. But I can get through this. And mark the vantage point. Those are stalker mines.
Let's hope the sling can handle it. Yeah, I don't want to go through the... Well, all the stalkers. Got one watch out. Oh, I see you now. Line launcher, stealth generator. Let's try and take out the stalker, the watcher first, quietly. And then handle the stalker. Oh, there's two of them, great! That's the such an item, right? Yes! Make us quick. You fight for me. Come on, come oh. on. Damn it.
Huh, that one's my my guy. Got in definite control now. I wanna I wanna ride you. <laughs> No fish. Huh. There's another way to climb. Okay. And the right path to the vantage, yeah. Do they think they're guarding Gaia? I doubt they think at all. More like an instinct, gathering them to a grave. Yeah, I'll have a gel. Keep the fleece cans down. One red eye. Red eye. Glint hawk. Have a gel. Glint hawk. Glint hawk. What was the other red gel? Those bushes, I mean, these bushes. Well, the other have a gun. I do. Oh boy.
nearly there. Did it. want some. Let's say you just in case. I'll find a use for you. point. These aren't cheap. What is still moving? Yeah, corruption glaze. Nutritious. Um, 
No mamy z pasu go. So much for being careful. See it? How do I get up now? And I went a long way around. Gaia Prime. A pack of shit storm tour, day 10. So here's where I learned how the world would end. My second apocalypse in a year. Looks like there's a lot of construction going on now. Why would that be? No fish in frozen rivers. Sacrifice. It did this? Cracked the inside of the mountain like it was an egg? Yes, yes. Quickly now. I've prepared the way ahead for you. So you you've mean? been in here before? To a point. You'll see. Uh huh. Climb up the outcrop. You made a climbing path for me, but left an army of machines for me to deal with? Since when were machines any obstacle for you? If you could fly, I wouldn't have bothered with a climbing path either. Yeah, it's all very nicely set up. Even built me a ladder. This is exactly the kind of place I expected to find you in, Silence. Thank you. It's one of many workshops I've constructed over the years. For years, I tried to get through this hatch. I drilled, I burned, I blasted. But we both know that you won't have any trouble getting through. You make it sound like I should apologize. Not at all. It never occurred to me that the way through would not be with force, but with a key. Why not? A key in human form. The failure of imagination was mine, not yours. Looks like you've spent a lot of time here. Nineteen years ago, 
A great explosion destroyed this mountain. Mm -hmm. Gaia's death. Your birth. The echo could be heard as far as the claim. Ash darkened the skies. How they fretted in the meridian as they tried to read this omen. The crater burned for weeks, but when it cooled, I was the first to behold what lay within. Over time, the machines closed ranks to protect it. Useful. Soon, no one dared to come here. Except me. I thought you might actually be here this time. Actually, here. Why? My presence is unnecessary. You don't need my help to pass through this door. You were the one born to do this, not me. In her message, Gaia said we could restore her, but... After seeing the damage, how could that be? She said any effort to repair her must come after Hades is destroyed. I concur. Rebuilding the terraforming system now might allow Hades to use it as a weapon. Because of Gaia's sacrifice, it has been forced to search for means that are less... convenient. But do you think it's even possible to restore Gaia? Well, you know what the cauldrons are capable of. How they fabricate any technology necessary to create a machine. And by the same principle, it should be possible to replicate every technology necessary to repair Gaia. But that would take years. And we're counting the time we have left by the hour. Let's go then. It's time for me to head in. Yes. When you find the Master Override, you will gain the power to defeat Hades. Everything depends on you. So, no pressure. Still here? Yes. I need to get going. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Soba. You are clear to proceed. Mind your footing. Therefore, I'm arrival log. Logging arrivals, Shan Margo. Welcome to Frozen Hell. Population 10. 11 counting Gaia. Don't count your chicken embryos before they're incubated, hon. She's still firing up. Be a while before you eat that omelet. I'm vegan, Travis. You think we'd worked in the same secret base long enough for you to notice? We weren't scheduled to shack up here for another three weeks. You realize I just lost 350 kilos of pre-code smug comics in transit. Wait, actual physical media? Why didn't you have it digitized? Can't beat the feel of physical media on your fingers. And in here, we ain't gonna be touching a whole lot else. Figured I was gonna pass the time archiving them. What about you? Me? At work, I guess. My task queue stretches out for, like, three years. There's a lot of sharp edges to round off. After that... I hadn't really thought about it. <laughs> oh, you will. you what, 30? Reckon you'll be the one turning the lights off at the end. <laughs> Food for thought, huh, vegan? <laughs> This sucks forever. <laughs> nah, not forever. Just the rest of your life. And final power cell. This should be the last power cell I need to get to that ancient armor I found. That's my way across. Whoa. It's uh, held like this for 19 years, right? Well... D don't answer. Okay, I can see a cold.
Seven skill points. Uh, machine repair. Call mount. No, cold resistant clothing. Oh, glad that's over. <laughs> I've like this for 19 years. Probably cracked once or twice. This must have been where they lived. What's left of it? Once this was all enclosed by rock and metal. Except they died a thousand years ago. of shadowy faces under a blank open sky i told them the world ended with the bang a plague of robots with the last humans we went out not with a whimper but a whisper you know in caves ending like we started huddled around a flickering glow the heads of state the fortune fives the leaders and lottery winners and life cults all of them buried in their little shelters some believing they'll live it out some way, somehow, or Elysium, or us here at Gaia Prime. No different. A multitude of tiny societies taking hold, flaring, dying. Some will be beautiful, some horrific. And none of them matter. Short-term civilizations. One last gasp. One last gasp for the long-held breath. Before I wake up, I know the audience is gone. I'm talking to myself, to a quiet planet, a barren sphere. Just Gaia and her long, long dreaming. I hope she won't be lonely. Charles Watson. Evacuation happens so fast. No time to think things through. No time for goodbyes. There were lines in the medical ward. I told Tom Paik I'd be with him when he went under. But there was one last shipment of parody Saidi zygotes I could get processed if I rushed. I'm still angry at him for forcing me to choose. Angry at myself for... Well, he died alone. And I didn't get the bloody birds of paradise saved either. <sighs> All the time left in the world now to think. Gaia Prime's locks are sealed. Elysium sealed up, safe and sound. A distance of miles, but it might as well be on the other side of the galaxy. Elizabeth's room. Mm. I know it. She didn't even get a chance to unpack. These are her journals. Elizabeth's journals. And they're all destroyed? Scan them. The Focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. To us, it seems a powerful device, but its engine is tiny and limited. How slow? Days, weeks, years. Concern yourself with stopping Hades and extending the future, and you might live long enough to hear them. Right, last vantage point. Subject channel, data points, quests, file damage, under repair. Huh. 
Quests. Oh, no, that's part of the thing. Takes out one quest. Okay. Let me get the rest of this thing. Uh. There's probably a lock so sealed, the Elysium sealed up, safe and sound, distance of miles, but it might as well be on the other side of the galaxy. All the betas and gamers and support staff living their lives. If I hadn't been an alpha, if things had gone differently, could have been there. Instead, I'm spending the rest of my natural life in here. People I don't even like, and without the one I would have gladly spent life with, given a chance. Two hours since I signed off on the final executables, and I'm already a bitter old man, pitching to its focus. There's a thought for future generation. Wait. This is where I came in. Where am I going? Is this everything on this level? I'm in the room. Blocked. Okay. This is where I came in. What's this? Hello. Open this. We got a kite. Okay. That's it. Okay. Charles Ronson. I'm logging this six hours after final deployment of Gaia Prime. This morning, an access port seal malfunctioned. What? Gaia Prime's port seals were designed to close with a seam of less than two millimeters. But this one closed with a ten millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through. Enough for the swarm to detect this facility. Oh, shit. Enough for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Unless the hatch servos were manually re-engaged from the outside. Oh. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Now, who I signed up for? Either we sent someone out, or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She said five minutes. You don't think... Oh, no. Okay, everyone. I've repaired the seal. Gaia, 
See your closure at 1.4 millimeters. Confirmed. Elizabeth, no. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen. The swarm's too close. Really. It's all right. Guy's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out. That's what she does. That's the elbow. Not like this. There's so much we... Guys, you know me. I'm... I'm no good at endings. At letting things end, so, um... Let's not. So... Happy trails, Liz. And... See you around. Yeah. Take care of each other, all right? Liz. I'm okay with this. I want to go home. Oh. Goodbye. That was the last transmission of Elizabeth Sobek. She gave everything for the hope of life on this planet. And we are all in her debt. Aloy? She's gone. Really gone. Even without this, she'd been dead a thousand years. She couldn't have survived, Aloy. And her achievements were beyond exceptional. While her people bickered, she was the one who took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. Mm -hmm. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. You think she was better because she was smart. Because she designed Zero Dawn, but you missed the point. What made her great was that she was willing to sacrifice herself for others, for everyone who would come later. No. She couldn't let her creation fail. You're confusing will for sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel. Mm -hmm. To care, to sacrifice, to believe in life. Enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. I'm sorry for your... Loss. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go on. You, that's the ammo. That is the ammo. Charles Hansen, voice log, gene locked. You'd hate it, Liz, but I wrote you a eulogy. I had to try to express all your children. After all Apollo has taught them, they'll think they know everything, but they have to understand what you did for them. How you loved the whole world so much, with an intensity that was dazzling, bruising, and in the end, it killed you, or you died for it. Different perspectives. No one could keep up with you, live up to you. I, I don't know, maybe if, if, I, if I hadn't taken that postdoc in Joburg... <sighs> I'm glad you shot down the Lightkeeper protocol in the end. I don't think I could have taken seeing another one of you. I mean... Elizabeth Sobek... There's only one. What Lightkeeper protocol? Other states. Look, Liz... You were a pretty stand-up gal. I'm sorry you died. If you had a home to go to, I hope you got there first. But this monument Ronson's made to you? Kinda creepy if you ask me. Rest in peace, Liz. God knows you earned it. I'm Ted Fellow. Hell, Liz. I know. I know you're never gonna hear this. That's not the point. You, uh, <laughs> you got to play the savior in the motor all at once this time. Great work.
Oh, control log. <clears throat> Hello, Margo. How are you holding up? Um, Dr. Onsen, I've been getting a lot of messages, unsolicited messages from Ted. Oh, Margo, I'm sorry. With Liz gone, we've got no one to run interference with him. I'll talk to Ted. He mostly wants updates, constant updates, hundreds of updates on things he knows nothing about. <laughs> Liz used to field all of his crap. He doesn't understand the systems at all. I was kind of by design. But he's getting pretty sketchy with me. We just have to keep him happy. Liz always said, keep him happy. Are you kidding? You ever hear how she talked to him? <laughs> she was managing him, Margo. I mean... Maybe I should ignore him. He's buried in his pyramid with the Hola Hola girls and Panta Antimon Cuckoos. What can he do? I don't know. What can he do? Did he send that code somehow? Future from Tesla. What are we gonna plug into their heads, Les? A whole lot of history? A whole lot of so called truth? A whole, a whole lot of noise? It's not pablum, Les. It's poison. There's another section at the back of the crater. Looks like it survived the blast. Because it was armored, you found the control room. I'm on my way. Okay. I think it was that bad. Solution from that fellow. I've, I've been taking a hard look at the project. In the end, it's simple. It's clean. It's clear. Erasure. Addition by subtraction. I can make it better. Less. With a single stroke, make it all go away. Why? I really what? don't like the direction this is going. Yeah. Continue. Remarkably well preserved. When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the alphas were in there. I wanted to look at this first because there was a great deal. So much wood. Oh, someone suffocated them. Quiet. I'm locked out of core control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh, I've, um, uh, please, 
Stop trying to access the set system, okay? See, see, what this is about is, um, I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. And wh what I'm trying to say is I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents. Those blameless men and, 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 and women. Mm. We're going to give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted, we've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus failsafe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're gonna give them the disease. Our disease? No, we can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Ted, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. Oh. I've purged Apollo. It's gone, all of it, every copy. A sacrifice? It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocents, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. Venting atmosphere. You freaking idiots! Those who don't know history are doomed to repeat it. He... He killed them all. So this is why... This is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance for an innocent future. Blameless men. He never saw the slaughter in the sun ring. Everything these people achieved, all the knowledge of the old ones, evaporated, turned to dust, scattered to the void, like the alphas themselves. No, not a void. When the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind, it took them out among the world they made, the world we're living in. It's... it's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Hope. Maybe the starship... crashed? So even if we cleared all the Apollo databases in, on Earth, there was still one in the starship they tried to send. Maybe we can get it back. It's an alpha, but still might be might work. The master override. It's so small. Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it. Master override doesn't override gravity. For a moment. What? Our journey together has come to an end, Aloy. But before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Go on. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been involved with the Eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades, Aloy. Buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered. Such knowledge 
You have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse. Helped it build a cult, <clears throat> an army to do its will. Why are you telling me this now? Because your success depends on knowing this. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire. Not Meridian. The Spire. Now why would that be? The Spire was created by Gaia. Which part of Gaia? M Minerva. It's code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems. Hades wants to send a new transmission to wake the machines so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse, the robots they've resurrected, they're just a means to an end. An army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again. Unless you stop it. I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse. Everything. It's a long story, Aloy. Then get started. It began with a focus. Recovered from an ancient ruin, as yours was so many years ago. In my case, the device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. A whole new dimension of perception revealed, right before my eyes. That's when I detected it. A faint signal. Out there, something was searching, just like I was. A real kindred spirit. I followed the signal to its source. A shattered titan buried in the jungles of the jewel. So you thought it was a titan? An old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd seen such wreckage before. The Grave Horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it, until my repairs gave it a voice. So began an exchange of knowledge. It wanted to know everything about our world, its tribes and machines. But the Spire was always its foremost concern. What did it want to know about the Spire? Its precise location, the surrounding geography, who controlled the land. Meanwhile, Hades revealed to me many of the intricacies of ancient technology. It bid me to recover and repair more focuses. Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. I didn't care. I was learning so much. Physics, calculus. You have no idea. And the Shadow Karja? How did they become involved? The Karja Civil War was a happy coincidence. A perfect opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity? That's what it was to you? Yes. Overnight, half the tribe was in exile, desperate to win back Holy Meridian. Their religion made them easy to manipulate. All I had to do was present Hades as the buried shadow of their mythology. So yes. It was an opportunity. I arranged for High Priest Bahavas to meet with Hades. Helis was there as well. And so the Eclipse was born. Anything to win back Holy Meridian. But Hades didn't care about Meridian. And neither did you. We live in a world of fallen cities and vanished tribes. What were a few more? Besides... I was too busy setting up the cult's focus network to Hades' specifications. <laughs> a thrilling technical challenge. Especially with the alterations I included of my own design. The ability for you to spy on them. Yes. I may have been foolish enough to serve Hades, but I was never so foolish that I trusted it. I installed what the ancients used to call 
a back door in the network. Secret access, empowering me to monitor all activity and communications. What made you turn on Hades? It certainly wasn't your conscience. Actually, I was troubled the first time I saw the Eclipse raise an ancient war robot with my technology. I questioned Hades about its intentions. A little late? <laughs> Indeed. I'd already outlived my usefulness. When I completed work on the Focus Network, Hades summoned me to receive my reward. The next moment, I heard it broadcast my kill order. I've been a fugitive ever since. So when did I come into this? Our path together? When Olin stumbled on you. System threat detected. That got my attention. A kill order against a savage Nora girl? Why would Hades bother with that? But then I saw that this Nora girl was wearing a focus and bore an uncanny resemblance to a great scientist of the old world. Helis moved quickly. I thought you were dead. But then I detected your focus inside the Nora mountain. The more I observed you, the more convinced I became of your extraordinary nature. And usefulness. Through you, I could finally discover the secrets of the Earth. I vowed to do everything I could to ensure your success. The rest, as they used to say, mm. is history. The things you've done in the pursuit of knowledge, Silence. Pure recklessness. Aloy, this wasn't a confession to elicit your judgment. <sighs> Unbelievable. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the Master Override to it, and you have a means of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Yep. Oh, no problem. Well, you know what it is. Silence! Where will you go? Up north. Elsewhere. Yeah. And everywhere. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. I was merely trespassing. Is that a gun? Looks like a gun. Looks like a sort of a gun. Nice. Nice design. Now you just need to stab it in. Wait, I missed that. Intercepted transmission, duplicated focus data, silence, error, item tags missing, unverified format. Task is complete. Yes. The focus network is active, built to your specifications. Check it yourself. I have to must. tell Avad that the eclipse are ready to strike. But after what happened at the wall. I know he'll defend the city, but the spire. Okay, again. Task is complete. Yes. The focus network is active, built to your specifications. Check it yourself if you must. I'll wait. But I remind you of the reward you've been withholding. Quantum processing. Data has been compiled. Volume too great. For transfer. How inconvenient for me. Come before me. You shall receive your reward. Very well. Helis. Threat detected inside Eclipse. Speak its name, O oh Shadow, and it will die. You will eliminate this one. Silence. Silence. Yes. A 
truth whispered at night is seen in the day. He was What? Oh right. <coughs> yes, the truth was put at night is seen in the day. He was never one of us. It will be done. Okay. That's guy up prime. That's all the uh, all the Tonex, cauldrons and corrupted zones collectibles. Now have to go to the Palace of the Sun. Oh crap, I should probably wrap it up. Data file repaired. Just wrapped inspection of Gaia Prime site. Construction is well underway. Reactor installed. Plans for control room remind me of Starship bridges on those cheesy old SF vids. Living spaces for alphas already completed. Prefab modules. Fingers crossed we never have to seal ourselves in here. Not that Elysium sounds much better. Spent last week at the Bryce site designing ZD project labs. Throwing up protocols, the base we were repurposing was huge, plenty of room for workspaces and residence blocks. The workers already set up my office lab, I'm not a fan of the glass wall. Guess Mary's intention was to ensconce me as all-seeing presence. Ugh. Opposite effect, makes me feel watched on display, tempted to paint it over. Mary has recorded his presentation yesterday, suitably bleak, scheduled to record mine Friday. As soon as reception, lounge, hall theatres and first residence block at ZD site are finished, we'll start processing the candidates being held outside of Tucson, 27 already. Extraction teams prioritizing Pacific Rim and Aussie candidates, how scared and confused they must be. Snatched off the streets, carted across the world, held in cells. He was hoping they understand once they see the big picture. Going to catch a few hours sleep here, then fly back to the ZD site. Harry's promised delivery of QB lattices by noon. Expect Mark 1 will take two weeks to machine, assemble and test. I aim to launch Gaia at 0.60 grounding. And there I'll spin her up past 1, 1.0. Wonder how long it'll take to break the 1.38 record. MIE can go hang. I'm guessing teraflops. Okay, first of all... Any better damage bonuses? 40... no. Tell? Thirty eight damage, 13 fire. 37 fire, 15 shock. Do it. The Shadow Tripcaster, fire, tear, and freeze. I actually think I want you more on damage and fire. Shock, damage, and fire. Damage and fire. Uh, 45 shock. Yeah, I'm not using you for shock. Do damage. Shadow at low damage, damage, damage. Handling. 
Shock damage and fire, freeze and fire, shock damage and fire. Freeze and tear, freeze and damage. Freeze and shock, no. Freeze and damage, no, freeze and, freeze and shock. Do freeze and damage. Thirty six damage, thirty damage, thirty seven damage, thirty six and tail, handling. All cast of handling, 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 handling damage and freeze. Handling and tell. No, that's the best. Robo. 45 freeze and corruption. Forty three shock. Forty five corruption and freeze. Resist corruption. Okay, we got resist ranged. 16 resist range, resist melee. No, keep it. Fire. We need resist fire, resist ranged. 25 resist fire, resist shock. Resist freeze. 28 resist freeze and resist shock. No. Resist shock. 24 resist shock, 28 resist shock. Corruption. We already did. Stealth. 11 stealth and resist melee. 13 stealth. In this thing, give it a stealth bonus. They'll need a skin for this thing. I'll wager Erend is behind Dareval's extradition. Of course he is. Okay, sell the Ravager lens. And the Watcher lens. And this thing. That's it. And the resist freeze, and the resist fire, and the resist shock, and resist corruption. Keep those in the meantime. And all of these. Freeze, freeze and corruption, freeze and shock. And I still don't know how to improve the spear.
No, it was a strange wave. Resist ranged wave. Let me save quickly. Let's put on the blaze on outfit because it's cool. Mm, yes, you look capable. You might do. Come here if you will. The sun. Spies have released. Okay. Crystal biting. Why can't I buy in bulk? Ah, I have all of that. Still this box. Corruption coil. Oh, warm socks. Was this fire wave? Huh. Hmm. Nah. I'm not getting rid of socks. Socks. No. Rugged. Well traveled. Yeah. I already left. Okay, I will go talk to Avad next time. Thanks for watching, stay good, have fun.